I've never I've never had a hint of them being in any sort of hurry to get this thing done. A downtown business owner is in a stare down with Alamo Trust. Now the city could be taking action. Offers have been made to buy downtown bar Moses Roses to make way for the new Alamo Museum. Its owner says it's not enough. Fox San Antonio's Amanda Henderson explains how he could lose his business. It's change Vince Cantu didn't see coming. The communication has been pretty much zero um, through this whole process, really. Cantu says his business, Moses Roses, could soon be impacted by eminent domain meaning his bar could soon belong to the city of San Antonio. They would acquire it on behalf of the Texas General Land Office. Yeah, I would love to participate in what will be an incredible downtown attraction. The Bar and Grill is located where construction for the new Alamo Museum is scheduled to start in June. Cantu says he has not accepted any offers made by Alamo Trust because the money isn't enough for him to pay off taxes, loans, and bills. Because if I sell to them, I put myself out of a job. Unless they are offering money that will allow me to not have to work, then I'm not in a position where I can accept any offer. Alamo Trust Incorporated tells us they've made multiple attempts to purchase Cantu's business and say he has refused our offers and not come to the table to negotiate in good faith. They say in 2021, Cantu wanted $17 million for the property and told him he'd ask for a million more every year on March 1st. The property was valued at just over $2 million in November, and Cantu rejected an offer of $3.5 million in December. They've got a lot of money that, that they can uh, afford to pay me off and treat me fairly, but they, for some reason, would rather have our city council vote yes to eminent domain me. We took Cantu's concerns straight to city attorney Andy Segovia. What had to happen for you guys to get to this point and step in as a city? We, know, we need to show that there's a compelling public purpose for this. I don't think we would have an issue showing that it's a very compelling public interest. And that's why we're exercising uh, the power of eminent domain. Segovia says if the council approves it, they will begin a process of condemnation, which they hope will lead to a follow-up negotiation process. He hopes it will lead them to an agreed upon amount for the property. I don't want people to think that the city council votes and then there'll be people uh, showing up at the at the bar, uh, kicking out the owner and the patrons there. No, it's a it's very much a due process. And that city council vote is scheduled to take place next week, so we'll keep a close eye on that. Segovia says he anticipates the process as a whole costing little to nothing for the city, but if it goes longer than expected, he says they have an agreement with the general land office. Amanda Henderson, Fox News at 9.